Hello, my name is Asya Fargusi. I'm Alan Fargusi. We are just about to go see Teresa Valacan. She's a librarian. A librarian at the Tompkins County Library. Teresa Vatican, no, librarian, and also um, I'm part of a department called Information and Learning Services, which works with adults. So we do information mm -hmm. reference programming things for adults. But on top of the programming, we order like books for collection. So we all are in charge of a collection of mine is graphic novels, world language, adult literacy, and religion and philosophy and dictionaries actually. So I order books for that. I, I take care of going through the collection and making sure everything's circulating, which means that it's being used. How did you get your job? This job currently, I started three years ago and I moved from New York City, Brooklyn, where I was working for six years at Brooklyn Public Library and then I got this job. My first job was in Massachusetts and I worked with children. Then I went to New York for six years and worked with children and teens, and then I came here and worked with adults. What do you look most about your job? I love working with people. Um, believe it or not, a lot of people think librarians don't work with people. But a lot of our job now, especially with the way libraries are changing, you are working right with people and with the community. And that aspect of it I really love. <laughs> so what do you think your greatest strength is? My biggest strength, I would say, is my creativity and inventiveness because I'm constantly looking for what's next. What materials do you use regularly at your job? Books are a big one. Uh, I use the computer extensively. We help people a lot with just how do I use Facebook? How do I, how do I set up an email account? So I would say majority of my day is spent on a computer. What is one important skill that every person should have? Creativity. Creativity helps in your schooling, it helps in your, your life and your job. Um, being able to think of new ways to do things, I think that's essential. So can you show us around your workspace? I mean, my works place is really the whole library. For example, I'll have a book club in here. So that this will be one room I will be working in regularly. Um, but I also have the reference desk out there as another workspace because I'm constantly help, like out there helping people. See, this actually was addition, so we didn't have this before. Um, so it was here, but they knocked out a wall, basically. It's pretty soon over where you see like red, um, caution tape, there's going to be a teen center. Um, they've always been kind of within, within children's services, and now they're going to have their own space. And this here looking very empty with only one important box um, is my workspace. Yeah, I do have some books as you can see and uh, oh yeah we have a big winter reading program for adults. My total from 2016 I read 68 books and so I set my goal this year for seven, 70 and I've already read 11. This is another department, technical services department and they work with processing the books that come in, cataloging the books, getting it so it's all in the correct place on the shelf. There's some of like the world language books. They're going to be moved though, and there's our Arab. See, Arabic we have oh, yeah. a little bit, so. But French, right now. Chinese book? Yeah, these are Chinese books. We, we have a um, population like for Chinese and Japanese and Korean, so I, I have done a lot of development there. We actually have an English as a conversation class. Um, English is a second language conversation class. It's starting on Wednesday next week. I help with that too. And uh, we have volunteers that help with that too. The library also has a lot of volunteer positions and we have a lot of volunteers helping us, including like high school students, um, seniors, and everything in between. So. so what I thought was cool, the library, and what I learned from Teresa was that the uh, library is undergoing renovations right now. I like that they have um, many books of uh, many languages, Arabic, Chinese, and this stuff. And also, I like Teresa. Um, she's very friendly, and she reads many books, and that's made me <laughs> want to read more books.
Don't forget to subscribe.